Hi there. Welcome back to Vintology by Lola, you guys. Nice to see you again. Well, not to really see you. You know what I mean. Anyway, um, as you can see by the title, this is a show and tell handmade goodies. This is what I've been up to lately. I haven't really felt like doing a whole bunch of junk journals. So I've been doing other peripheral stuff, stuff that they can go into it, stuff I've seen online. So let's get to it. I'm going to show you this. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you are these cute tags that I made. And these are made with, and I know I'm going to slaughter this name. They are made with Alupa Online, um, and they're from Etsy. And I had seen these on, I think on Instagram, and I just fell in love with them. And she or he, the designer, has different versions of it. This just happened to be the one that I liked with typography, vintage, antique. It just kind of got me. So first thing I did was I printed those out, okay? Then my digitals are from my favorite, <laughs> Art House Whimsy. So these little people come in a set and I just cut them out and distress them. So what I did was I took Tim Holtz ephemera, I cut him out, I did some stuff to lift him up, some cardboard, and I just put some words on it. I also used some of my Tim Holtz stamps on it. And then I just do some brown seam binding and some twine to make these. And then on the back, I just put coffee dyed paper. So I'll just quick flip through these. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Aren't these got, these little kids are so precious. Can you even stand it? Of course, she is stunning, the 1940s lady. I also tried to name the ones I could. So, like, this is Martha. This is Alice. This is Ethel. This is Cora. This is Pearl. And I didn't have a lot of guys' names in the Tim Holtz words. So, he's just the storyteller, which I thought was perfect for him. So, that's the first thing I want to show you. That was wonderful. Second thing I wanted to show you was another project from Art House Whimsy. And she has got these great vintage, not vintage, <laughs> I guess because we're old, I say vintage. She has these whimsical old people and they were hysterical. And then she also has these whimsical houses. So what I had done was I made my own master board um, with a background with all of these colors and with some, oh, that schmeary, what is this stuff called? Um, here, this stuff, this Alchemy uh, metallic wax. And I did some of that all over it too. And then I just cut it out like tags. Then from there, I had taken the houses and I cut those out and put those on. And then I chose the man or the woman or the couple that I thought went with the house. And then I went through Tim Holtz words because he's got wor just words not even phrases and I cut stuff apart so this one um, she could see no good reason to act her age and if you if you follow me on Instagram you probably saw these and some of this is my hand dyed seam binding and then it was I did the master board on something a little bit heavier than cardstock and then I put coffee paper on the back so there's the first one Here's this cute couple with the house that says intent upon behaving badly. And these were actually two separate people. And I just put them together as a couple. Here's one where I had her as a giant, this girl as a giant and the house was small. And it was a nice gir girl from a good home in a strange land, which I thought was perfect. Kind of like Alice in Wonderland. And then I love this one. Um, again, the house the lady, um, you can never have too much happy, which I just love. So those were super fun. So if you want to go to Art House Whimsy, because I have totally supported her, you guys. Okay, so then I was kind of on a tag kick a little bit. And so I thought, okay, let's make some more tags. So these, I actually got the idea from Sunset Crafts and more, and I am a huge fan of hers. She has the greatest ideas. And I also used some Tim Holtz fabric. I used Art House Whimsy, the people. And I just used, <laughs> I saved all of my packages of Tim Holtz um, ephemera. And oh, I got paper on everything, or lace 
wax stuff on, glue, everything on there. Um, and so I used the back of that to stabilize it. And you know that that's kind of cardboardish. So what I had done was, um, and there's a sheet, the gal who does it, and I can't remember her name for Sunset Crafts and more. She has a great tutorial. And so what she had she had done was taken the backing, I believe she did, and she had put fabric on it. And I had gone and I had sewn all of these pieces separately. And then I put them together the way I liked them. Then I used some ephemera, some staples, and then I cut out the Art House Whimsy people and decided which ones I wanted to go on. I loved this idea. It was so sweet and so simple, and it's just those metal ring tags. And then I had found stickers that I had that were actually the right size, and I just put a little chain on it, and so each side has one. So these are all Art House Whimsies. The background is fabric, and then the embellishments are some Timmy's and some just in my bag of, of cut-aparts that I just used. So here's one. Here's one, and you can see, like I said, just the backs of the Timmy stuff. And I haven't decided if I'm going to cover that or just leave it, because if I use it as a pocket or a tuck or even on the front of a book, it will be have been a waste of time to do the back. So here's this one, a full heart. Love this one. And this one says, so much love. And he, she has these ones um, on Art House Whimsy that look like the picture's been cracked like it's behind glass they're super cool so they look like this and this one says so very loved as well with a dove bicycle it's this one much more traditional lady i thank my lucky stars for you with a butterfly it's all timmy paper or i'm sorry timmy fabric okay and then her and she always kind of reminds me of someone who's a little bit i shouldn't say this but a little bit cross-eyed so she looks just kind of sweet and you know it's an old picture and stuff and i just put seltzer on there and she's got a little tag and stuff so that is what i did from sunset more and crafts and art house whimsy love these these were so fun to put together and just kind of no rules just play right okay then talking about sunset crafts and more she had a sweet little tutorial on how to use Tim Holtz library pockets and the tags that come in it. So they're manila, and then they have a tag in it. And I want to say there's eight of them, but I'm not sure. Because um, I used, I had, this is all I had in my stash was what I did for this book. So she goes through and shows you exactly how to do, how to put the book together. And basically, it is a tape binding but you're using Tim Holtz fabric tape, so it really stays, okay? And then each one of these is actually a Tim Holtz um, uh, folder, or the library card. Sorry, ah, brain fart. So it starts out with one, and you just start taping them together. Again, she has a wonderful tutorial. I wouldn't try to teach it because it's hers, but I love the idea. And this paper, it was a pad that I had gotten, like a six by six pad that I had gotten from Scrapbook Expo uh, last year or the year before. And I just pulled it out because it was six by six and I just loved it. So each one of these has the tag. Okay. And so I just went through and kind of dolled it up and did some embellishing and just played around. Okay. So, but not every single one was a pocket. Does that make sense? So some of these were not just, they weren't pockets. They were actual just the inside of the pocket. So I put those together. This one, I obviously I trimmed, right? So you use, the, you use the whole set. You're using the pockets and you're using the tags. Some of them are tags. So this is just a little flip through. And I just thought this would just be, just, you know, put a little couple things in it. Cute little day in the life of, you know, just very sweet. It was, this was another one, you guys. Just fun to use your stuff that you have because I just cut apart all the extra pieces that I had used from the six by six and just tried to doll it up, shall we say, so it didn't look just so plain. And there were, I, I want to say that there was some, there was like an ephemera page on the back of this, or, you know, 
in the six by six pack. And so I cut that apart. So I didn't even use stickers. I actually used what was in the ephemera. So like that was part of the ephemera. And that I think was one of Tim's. These little words are Tim's. This is one of Tim's that just happened to go really well with this little set here. And so then here's another one. And that pulls back. And that's the end. And then I just took a piece of brown ribbon and tied it up. And I did very little to the cover because I specifically chose that paper because I really liked it. I just put the date on it. And that was just a label, like a Tracy Fox plain label. And then I just stamped it from one of my Tim Holtz stamps for the date. Okay, so that was that. So that's Sunset Crafts and more. Then... I had gone to a garage sale or a thrift store, I can't remember, and I had bought some patterns, and they were all 50 cents. Some of them were absolutely destroyed. I mean, oops, as we speak. And for those of you who can't stand the idea of cutting patterns apart, you need to look away. But I have to tell you, this one did not have, um, this one might have had instructions in it. One of the other ones I bought did not have any instructions and it had one size of just pattern pieces. So there really, if you were going to make it, there wouldn't be much you could do with it, right? Because you didn't have all the instructions unless you were a great sewer. So I was trying to think what could I do with, what could I do with this? So what I had done was I had already made one of these little, I don't even know, accordion pleated pocket tucks, whatever you want to call it, that goes into a junk journal. You could do whatever you want with it. So one of the patterns I had gotten that was absolutely destroyed on the cover, kind of like this one, you know, I had taken and cut out the women. Now, what's funny is these are actually Barbie doll patterns, so it fit perfect on here. So what I had done was I had an old tape measure and I cut out these women and then I took a pattern piece, you know, the brown pattern piece like this, and I had collaged that all over it. Then I had the instruction pieces that shows you how to lay it out and stuff, and I cut that apart and just kind of collaged that over it. Then I had cut the number of the pattern, who the brand was, and then I, like I said, I cut out those people. When you open it, and I have two eyelets in, on it, and I just used brown cardstock to make this. I'm thinking I should do a little tutorial on this because this was so fun to make, okay? Um, when you open it, it's the accordion, but instead of it just being any accordion, I took the instructions, this, and I made my accordions with that. So I cut it. Here is here is part of it, right? I cut it after I measured it and stuff, made made my little pockets and stuff. And I'm not gonna show you now, I'll show you later how you do it. And I used all that paper on the inside. So basically I used the cover of the pattern, I used the pattern pieces, and I used the instructions all to make this little baby. Now, I have to say, I thought that was pretty, I thought that was pretty creative, right? Okay, so we'll put this to the side now. So that was one of my ideas. Then as I was doing that, I'm going to do a tutorial on this, although it's not anything nobody can do. But I had taken um, another pattern that I had gotten, and I had um, some coffee dyed check, some guest checks. And I was cutting out these people, and I thought, you know, that would make a really cute guest check. And I had some more. I had ordered some of these colored, uh, these colored uh, tape measures. And I didn't really have a use for them once I was done. I had made some keychains with them um, when I worked at Buttermilk Basin. And I had teal and pink. And this gal just happened to have flowers that were a little red and a little pink. And so I did the same thing. I had taken part of the, the brown pattern pieces and I had decoupaged that. I cut her out. I scrunched up a bunch of the pattern pieces behind it as well. Used a piece of the tape measure did the simplicity, here's the pattern number, and it cost 45 cents. I also happened to be tearing some fabric and I had Marcus Fabrics, just the, the logo that you have on the bottom of your fabric when you buy it. And then I put on a little charm, a little scissors charm that I thought was appropriate, 
and here's the fabric I cut. I just put a paper clip on it. And when I turned it over, of course you can do whatever you want, but I thought it was cute. This was the styles that they had of this pattern. And I cut it out and put it on the back. You still could go over this and write with a black marker too. Or you could use it as a tuck, right? Or as a corner tuck or, or a, a small belly band, you know, a little, really wide belly band. But I thought that was really fun. This I think I'm just gonna show you how to do because it was a fun one to just make, right? And lastly, I was moving away from paper, and I had made these about four years ago, and I absolutely loved making these. Well, at the same garage sale that I got the patterns, they had the eight track containers, you know, these things, right, that we used to keep our cassettes in, and if you're under, let's just say if you're under 40, you probably don't know what these are. We used to listen to music on them. They had cassettes in them, right? So I had picked up a couple of those and it came back to me. I remember making these and I said, you know what? I haven't made those in a couple of years. I'm going to make them. So I made these with Minte paper. These are also um, Art House Whimsy Women in the smaller version. I took part of a doily. I used part of a gold filigree. I did some Prima Flowers. This is Tim Holt's Word. This is the back. I used one of their embellishments. And so it's all covered, and then I went around it with lace. And when you open it, in case you haven't seen it, I fill it with handmade stick pins, okay? So each one has four stick pins. I was a little sad because I had made really cute stick pins that had butterflies on them and bows. They were very sweet, but I forgot. <laughs> um, when I went to put them in, they were about, oh, probably three quarters, maybe an inch too high. And there was no fitting them in here because it was a longer, like a corsage pin. And when you make this, then you just put a piece of foam in here, styrofoam or something, so you have some place to stick your pins. And then also I always tell people I always put an earring back. Oh, I can get it off now. Okay, yeah. So I always put an earring back on there. So when you're going to use it for something, if this end is somewhere where you don't want someone to get poked, they have it. And in the meantime, you just push it back up here so that they have it. Because there's really no place to store it when you put them in here and make it all pretty, right? So that's that. And it just closes. It is so great for Happy Mail as a sweet little gift for someone who's a sewer. Um, you can leave it like this. Some people have, I've seen people who have this side decorated and they leave it up like that and out. I wouldn't, I would just always keep it like this, but that's who I am. This is the second one and I pretty much followed the same thing because I had all this stuff on my desk and so I said, I'm just gonna play with it. Same doily, a different girl. She's three years old, another Prima flower, Timmy words different um different trim open it up oh here's the back to you guys sorry there's the back same minte paper and then these are just a little bit different and you have to remember when you glue this <laughs> like this is thicker than the last piece of lace i used it won't go all the way down because it's glued in place down here but that's okay I'm Like I said, if you're gifting it to someone and they take the pins out, they're probably going to close it because that's the decorated side is on the outside, not on the inside. So that is that, and there are some more pins. So how much fun is that? So yes, I have been playing and having a good time and um, have been not doing due diligence on my videos. So I thought that I would share that. I will come on sometime this week to either show this tag or this little accordion pocket, pleat, whatever you want to call it. And if you have a preference, you can put in the comments, oh, I'd really like to see how you made this one. Because this one I think is self-explanatory. I would love to do both, but when I look at my um, analytics from YouTube, it doesn't look like a lot of people hang out till the end of the video. But you know, that's when you really need to hang out because that's when I tell about my surprises and stuff, you guys. So. I think it's time for another surprise. So we'll do that in the next video. I will do some sort of surprise. I kind of have something in mind. But um, thank you so much for coming by and seeing me. I always appreciate it. Hope you're well. It is rainy, cloudy, and cold here in Minneapolis. I'm hoping for more spring weather. 
next week. Um, enjoy your what's left of your weekend. And again, I will see you very, very soon as I'm trying to put this all together, you guys. Peace out.